All right, what's up everybody? So for today's MCAT question, I actually wanted to make sure I gave everyone an equal representation. And so today is a pretty diverse question because it says two organisms in the same blank are less closely related than two organisms in the same blank. So believe it or not, even though the MCAT does highlight a lot of molecular biology and physiology and physics and chemistry, there will also be biology that focuses a bit on taxonomy. Um, there will be some that focuses on ecology and also some that focuses on evolution. So even though we get caught up in a lot of things, we want to make sure we're giving everything an equal representation because these three concepts are indeed represented on the MCAT. With that being said, these are easily uh, these are easily conquerable. Like I think these questions are doable. It's just to make sure you have a good way to attack them. And one of the best ways to attack them is through acronyms. So there are tons and tons of acronyms out there not only for taxonomy, but also for a lot of other things. This taxonom taxonomic acronym makes a lot of sense because if you take the first letter of each of these, kids playing catch on freeways get smashed. I mean, unfortunately, it gives a very bad message. You know, it's unfortunate that it's so sad. But at the same time, it's good because it's helping you answer a question because the K stands for kingdom, right? Kingdom. The P stands for phylum, right? And then the C stands for class, the O stands for order, the F stands for family, okay? And the G stands for genus, and the S stands for species. Believe it or not, this is the exact acronym I used on the MCAT uh, when I was attacking these sorts of questions. And I recommend you all use this as well because it's phenomenal. I love it. Uh, and even now, as I'm doing this question, I still remember it. So, you know, there's no other way I would remember it if I didn't have this great acronym. Uh, so I hope that one helps. But the other thing you need to know is the directionality here. So some of you may already know, but kingdom, kingdom is the least specific, okay? So if you're in the same kingdom as something else, it's not saying very much because kingdom is the least specific taxonomic uh, category. On the other hand, as you move down from kingdom all the way down to genus, and I think species got left off here, so let me add it in, species, uh, you will be the most specific. Okay, and you might be wondering, what does this mean, least specific, most specific? Well, least specific, let's, let's think about your address, right? When you tell someone where you live, let's say you say you live in the USA. Well, that's not very helpful because I live in California, and if I say I live in the USA, that's pretty much saying I live in the same place as New York or as someone who lives in New York. Both of those are in the US. However, let's say I want to be really specific about where I live. And then maybe I'd give my street number, okay? Maybe I'd say I live on 12345. Uh, drive road, something like that. That's very, very specific. So what I'm saying is kingdom is less specific, but species is very specific. So by the time you get to species, you're talking about something very, very close. If two things are in the same species, that's like two things living on the same street. It's very, very close. On the other hand, if two things are in the same kingdom, that's not saying much because that's like two people saying they both live in the US or they both live in Asia or they both live in Australia. It doesn't help because it's very, very general. So with that, let's now apply it to our question because I told you that kingdom is less specific, but on the other hand, the genus and species, I don't know why it keeps getting left off, is the most specific. So when I say most specific, I mean also more related, okay? Things that are in the same species are more related than things that are in the same kingdom. If you're in the king same kingdom, you're less related than things that are in the same species. Okay, so let's apply this to our, our answer choices. Okay, remember, we want our first answer choice to be less closely related than our second answer choice because that means we want our second answer choice to be more specific, aka farther down in the chain, remember, species is at the bottom, than our first answer choice. So does that apply to a first one? Order versus class. So is order, order is over here, and class. So order is more specific than class. If you're in the same order, you'll be more closely related. And is that what we're looking for? No. We want the first blank we have to be less closely related. And order is actually more closely related than, related than class. What about family? Is family more closely related than order? Well, family is right here, and order is right here. That doesn't help because family well, again, our first answer choice is more specific than our second answer choice. Things in the same family are more closely related than things in the same order. So that's not, that's not going to work. 
What about genus versus class? Well, again, unfortunately, let's let me change colors and see if this will help. I'll make it green. So genus is here, and class is here. So if you're in the same genus, you're way more closely related than if you're in the same class, because class is so general. So here too, genus is more more closely related than class. And so by the process of elimination, the answer here is D. But why is that the case? Let me let me do this one in black. Okay. Why is that the case? If you're in the same phylum, you're all the way up here, right? That's that's very general. But if you're in the same order, you're all the way down here, right? If you're in the same order, you're more closely related. So if you're in the same phylum, you're less closely related than if you're in the same order. And that's what our question is asking for. And so the answer here is D. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Comment, like, subscribe, and obviously message me if you have personal things you, you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Hey, one. thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. If you want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here. Another link to one of my videos right here. And another video right here. Why not? I'll put one video right over here. And last but not least, if you want to subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it, because I'm still an early YouTuber trying to get it down. But a subscription button should be right over here. So please subscribe. Cool. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Hope you find these videos helpful.